Are we here? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I'm not here. Let me just move this along because normally the view is a little bit different. See, there is a particular sort of, you know, amount of stuff that has to be in the viewfinder for me to be happy about the picture that I am sending out to all of you. Welcome, welcome everyone to today's live. I hope you are in the party mood because I am, I've got the party dress on, I've got the lippy on and thank you Corinne, thank you, oh thank you everyone sending the felicitations. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Deborah. Hello, hello. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Mandy. Yes. Oh, my word. <laughs> and I have party stuff. Let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Yes, party. So I have a dubious drink. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, no alcohol, okay? It's alcohol free. Just in case I go funny. <laughs> Welcome to the party, everyone. So it's sparkly, it's fruity, but mm, yeah, it's a bit. It's okay. It's okay. But. I also have tea because, you know, you have to keep those vocal cords oiled. <laughs> mm, that's much better. You know, I always say, oh, let's have a party. Let's have something sparkly and let's have, let's just stick with the tea, shall we? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yes, Orient by yes, Susanna. Of course, it's IKEA, and uh, it's worldwide, isn't it? So we can all have tea in the same cup if we wanted to. And then I have, I have something nice to eat as well. But again, <laughs> I said to Dirk, put it in a nice plate, and look what he. Gave me. <laughs> plastic bowl <laughs> hey that's how we roll here <laughs> but he said the plastic bowl goes with the dress because it's got flowers yes Myra it's a dress look look it's a dress it's a party dress ooh, 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 ooh. no shoes <laughs> She's got no shoes on, but hey, she's got her party dress on. Oh, well, no, <laughs> Rachel, I know. It's these leftovers from when you have children. Some of these things are so nice. And this one, it just stuck around. This one is a Kath Kidston one, and it just, yeah, it's still here. I still love it for a little bit of ice cream, you know. Thank you, Laurie. So I'm having some... Uh, Mmm, tiramisu. <laughs> but, mmm, mmm, mmm. I need a drink now. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to hold. Yeah, okay. And to be honest, I can't drop it. You know, if I do drop it, it won't break. Because knowing me, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Yes, Regina, pink is one of my, this sort of pale pink is one of my colours. Unbelievable. But um, the pastel colours, you know, like this one, is, is one of my colours. So this is one of my lipsticks you know the sort of really pink uh bright pink one and of course it's in the dress as well so i thought it was all nicely coordinated because you know queen of coordination <laughs> oh. 
Oh, oh, Suzanne, well, I'll just sit here and wait for you <laughs> to come back. <laughs> Actually, I was going to, um, you know, get the strawberry tarts. But first of all, they didn't have them in the shop. And second of all, they are a little bit difficult to eat. This one in the mouth and it goes down easier. So that's much nicer. Thank you, Heather. I hope you will come back to this live later on. It, as you know, it will be um, kept on the channel as a video because we have a lot to talk about today. So I hope you will either stick around, stay here or do come back later on. So first of all, we, um, we promised that uh, we would do something with the people who were going to um, leave us a review on our website. So we're going to announce the 10 winners of the reviews. Then we are going to announce the giveaway for the 150,000 subscribers. Unbelievable. I mean, I was happy. I remember the day I had like 8,000 or 10,000 subscribers and I was so happy. And this is beyond my wildest, wildest dream. So 150,000 giveaway. And then also I am going to show you, you might not be expecting this. I don't know whether you saw this in the, um, in the description or in the title. I am going to tell you two of the colors of the cow. If you don't want to know, I will make sure that you have an opportunity to look away. I won't say the names. I'll just show you. You all know them because obviously we, you know, um, but I will give you two. But I will tell you if, if, if you don't want to know, if you don't want to open your pack at all just before, then, you know, there is an opportunity for you not to look. And then also I will be telling you lot how lucky you all are because next week we will have three videos. I mean, you know, so there we go. That is what we have in store for you tonight. And... I need a drink. <laughs> Everything is pink today. Everything is pink. Thank you, Ketura. Thank you. Yeah, Sefiori. Yep. Yeah. 150,000. Shara, thank you. Beryl, thank you. Yes. Barbara, I know. I know. It's unbelievable. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's Ingrid and Mandy and Tracy and Fancy Weasel. <laughs> Hi, Corinne. Oh, my goodness, Paula. Hi, Bridget. Yes, do you know, I was just looking at those when I was saying everything is pink. Look, the hearts are still up. I took something down because I thought it was getting too much there. Uh, but I, I thought I'll leave the hearts up because they are so adorable and, you know, it's just such a nice thing to have up there. So... Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Love the pink. Yes, Rafaela. Thank you. It's, yeah, it's Barbie. <laughs> well, I don't have the hair colour for Barbie, but hey, <laughs> one can pretend, right? <laughs> yeah, Christine. Thank you. <laughs> we'll keep on going. And I have to say, darlings, Oh my goodness, we have noticed an increase in subscribers so much over the last two, three months. It's been wonderful to see that, you know, to see it going quicker and quicker. And one of the things that helps is you sharing my videos. So unfortunately, you know, sometimes like, you know, people uh, want to uh, know how to make things they want to. They're asking questions. And if you can reply to that with a video of mine or point them into the direction of my channel, then that all helps towards the growth. That helps towards, you know, everything to do with the channel, with our, you know, with our growth, with the web shop, with everything that we are doing. So it would be wonderful and I would be so grateful if you were to share some of our videos. Even if they are older videos, new videos, this live, 
you know, anything. If you share it on your social media uh, with people who also like crochet or who would be interested in making whatever it is that I'm making in a particular video that you're enjoying, then I'm sure that will, you know, they will watch and it will help us. And it's wonderful if we notice... Yes, uh, Rose Kumar. Yeah, we noticed one of the videos was being shared and that's just so lovely um, that, you know, the views go up. All of a sudden there's a whole new audience of people watching, new people and also just subscribing uh, because in the back office of YouTube, I can see the percentage of people who are watching, who are actually subscribed and who are not. And the majority is not subscribed. So that always helps if you subscribe and like the video. Like the video. That always helps as well. So let's get started. Let me have another one. Because now that I started it, it's, I want more, you know. Mm. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you. Lorraine. We haven't said too much just yet. We've just done the introduction. So you haven't missed the thing yet. Thank you, uh, Madhu Dave. Thank you. So let's see if we can, you know, I've got 10 pieces of paper here. And these are the people who have left us a review. Now, about three months ago, we um, started not allowing, but you have to sort of click a button or whatever on our website, uh, or you have to put the thing in. I don't know how it works. But all of a sudden, we had this uh, facility for you to leave a review. But of course, you know, people have to be asked to do that because you don't just sort of see that it's there. So we asked you to leave a review of the products that you have bought from us. So going back to the website and just typing in, you know, what you what you thought of it. Now, of course, I know we've got the Facebook group and in there you show with so much enthusiasm, you know, the pictures that you have made from whatever you've bought from us or, you know, when it arrives and things like that. And that's all very well and good and well, but if you put that same kind of enthusiasm into a review, on our website, then people who are thinking about buying and see your review might be persuaded. And that is what reviews are for. So to help people make up their mind. And of course, when they're on the website, that's the, the time when they're making that decision. And it helps us so much if there is something there that other people can read thinking, oh, look, that's this lady there. And she bought this and this is what she made from it. And she loved it. And that's the reason why we have also started doing these reviews on the website. So we asked you to go to the website and leave a review and we wanted to give an incentive. So we know we're, you know, we're quite flexible with how long um, we did this. We should have done this a couple of weeks ago, but or maybe last week, something like that anyway. But things get out of hand here. It's so busy sometimes. So what we aim for is to run it a couple of months. So again, we will do this again, right? So we'll run it from about September. So from now, really, until sometime in November, and then we'll do another draw of 10 people, okay? Now, these 10 people will get £10 each. And, of course, this £10 will go towards a purchase from our website. There's no limit, so there is um, you can use it for any product that we have on the website, it is valid for one year, so you must make sure you uh, use it up within the year and um, you will get an email if your name is in here. You will get an email after the live has finished, about half an hour later. OK, Dirk has programmed them so they should go out quite well. Uh, so don't panic if it's not straight away. It's about a half an hour later after this live, these team, 10 people will get an email with a code that they then you could can use towards the next purchase or whenever they want to use it. OK, um, so it's 10 pounds. 
It can go towards your shipping. It can go towards a pattern. It can go towards a yarn pack. Okay, we've just launched a cowl, but there will be other cowls within a year. Okay, so you can use it whenever you want for whichever product you fancy. Um, so, yes, we will do this again. Um, but for now, this is the list of people who have won this £10 voucher, which will be sent to them in about half an hour after this video or after this live has finished. Um, and they can spend it, you know, whenever they want. So I'm just going to, I won't read out there, um, but I'm just going to tell you what they wrote about, which product and whether they liked it or not. Oh, well, I might as well read them out then. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we've got Eileen Lynch. I don't know whether she's here. And she wrote a review for the Harlequin Crochet along 2022 yarn packs, so the Harlequin pack. And she loved doing it. Although many people found it difficult. It was a different technique, wasn't it? So, yeah, she loved doing it. And her, her grandsons claimed it. Whose, whose grandchildren don't claim the blankets? <laughs> so there we go. Um, Eileen Lynch, you've got £10 towards your next purchase. Then we have Charmaine Bouillon. Bouillon. Uh, she bought the James C. Bread Aurora and she loved the colour. She says, absolutely stunning colour. Wear it with a white shirt, blue top and jeans. See, sometimes it doesn't need to be much. So congratulations, Charmaine. You will get an email as well. Becky, Becky Ramos. Here we go. The Netflix to Doom blanket. She says she gets so many compliments on it. And she her friends always ask her how she got the idea of making that. And of course, she sends them to my channel. That's fantastic yeah so becky then we have katherine jones i don't know whether you're here yeah becky just arrived yes becky you've won you've won 10 pounds for your review so it was worth doing that yeah katherine jones wendy supreme cotton love oh she made the pixie puller row yes she loved the color she says there we go Catherine Jones, yes, it's you, darling. Then we have Helen Davis. Helen Davis, you bought the pastel colour pack from Starcraft, and she loved the gentle colours in this pack. I, it's lovely to crochet with and does not split, arrived quickly and well packed. Fabulous. Fabulous. Great. So that was Helen Davis. Then... There's Wendy Hewings, the Kath Kidston, <laughs> Kath Kidston <laughs> colour inspired yarn pack. Oh my goodness, she wrote so much. But one of the first Ophelia projects was the Kath Kidston uh, blanket. And um, she had, of course, back then, she had to source the colours herself. But now it's wonderful that she can buy them like this. So there we go. She she bought another one. <laughs> well done, Wendy. Yes, so 10 people. Rosalind Hobbins, James C. Brett, Marble Chunky. So that's another one of our yarns that we sell. It's a lovely yarn. It crochets up really quickly because it's, it's thicker, isn't it? And it's lovely and soft. So there we go. That's Rosalind Hobbins. And then we have Joyce. Is Joyce Quintero here? She's bought the Jam Jar Happiness Cal Pack. And um, yeah, still working on it. Honestly, uh, Joyce, you've got to get it finished. The new Cal is about to start. <laughs> Thank you. She says, Anya, your patterns are always the best. Thank you. Thank you. Then there's Karen Tira. Or Tyra, how would you say that? Ah, oh, this is about a higher, higher hook set. So be before she began following me, Anya, she'd never heard of higher, higher hooks. Do you know, before I started crocheting again, I hadn't. Um, and she bought the set and she loves the way they grabbed the yarn and 
how they are balanced in the hand. And thank you. Thank you for getting me on the higher, higher bandwagon. <laughs> You're welcome, Karen. <laughs> so there we go. And then the last person, Mary Catherine Markovich. She's bought the limited edition Yarn Pack Summer 23. So that's a recent one. Just received it. The colours are glorious. They are all my favourites. I will be back for another another pack. Another pack soon. Wonderful. So, yes, these are the 10 people. Don't worry if you were not here. Don't worry if you weren't here on the live. These are the 10 people that we have chosen or that just were picked. I don't know how Derek did it. I think he did it with a random picker. But, you know... They will be getting an email just saying that they've won a £10 voucher and, um, you know, further details in the email that they will get. So after the live is finished, in about 30 minutes, they will get an email. So well done to all those 10 winners. You could be one of them in sometime in December when we do this uh, next time. If throughout the next few months, you leave us a review on something that you have bought um, and that you want to share your opinion on. And I hope it will be positive, just like all of these were. We do love it when you let us know, um, you know, how quickly things arrived or how well it worked up and things like that. And also we want to know if it didn't, because then we will have to do something about it. And that's what we uh, use those reviews for as well, um, you know, to make sure that everything is up to scratch and that other people know it as well. So there we go. Thank you, Martha. Thank you. Um, I saw someone asking about the Ophelia talks. I am going to, um, I will write it down. I have, um, sorry, I can't talk. And right. Um, I have told this story uh, many times, but we have a special live coming up. I mean, all the lives are special, right? We have a special live coming up because in September the 10th, it will be our three year birthday for the uh, web shop. And then we'll do another live. So on that Sunday, we'll have another party as we do and then I'll tell you more about the Ophelia and whatever okay so I'll I'll keep that for now because we've got too much to get through today so those are the uh the 10 winners that we've just announced and now I would like to I would like to, um, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, uh, Layla was around. We had to brush her, but she's off again to her um, holiday home in the utility room. <laughs> I think she thinks it's too loud in here. <laughs> Maybe I should tone it down a bit. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, Laurie, my dress is from LK Bennett. So do have a look at that. What badge? What badge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Rachel. Yeah, we don't have those badges. <laughs> Maybe we should have them designed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, don't worry, love to craft. Obviously, it will be, you know, it will be... a. Uh, on the um on the channel anyway yes lk bennett it's a store it's a shop yes yes laurie it's um martha yes it's a shop it's a it's um um it's a brand here in the uk that's quite uh, well known do we have ads oh no what's that why do you know sometimes things happen Mm, I know this happens once in a while and things happen and um, 
see and some some somebody doesn't have ads somebody has and and then that means something's changed to the settings and it's not always something that i can do anything about oh my goodness why is that <laughs> I don't understand how ads would work in a live. But anyway, sorry about that. But, you know, once in a while that does happen. Um, I noticed a couple of things different from uh, YouTube. So when they have um, updates or changes, things happen. So I'll have to have a look after the live and see what that was. Um, so let me talk to you about, first of all, the videos for next week, because obviously we have other things that we need to talk about. So let's do that now. So next week, we're going to have three videos. Now, you know, this week we had the mandala and oh my goodness, darlings, I have noticed so many mandalas already in the Facebook group all finished and you've got beads and you've got the 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 metal ring and everything you know you you're doing so well getting everything that you need or even finding things that you already have and using them because that's what it's about as well okay so yes I made the mandala I made the uh, tassels and I saw somebody um I saw somebody um, who had put their picture up and they made their tassels and it looked wonderful, but the tassels were crinkly as well, just like mine were. And I thought they really didn't live up to standard, you know, being all crinkly, crinkly disheveled, you know, not looked after, uh, not sort of, you know, a nice party dress on like me. <laughs> so I steamed them. I steamed them and I I have made a video of that. <laughs> that was quite the challenge, I tell you, but so satisfying. So on Wednesday, yep, we're going to be steaming tassels with my iron. Um, the way I did it was okay, but I, just now, even now, there's a warning, you know, always be careful when you using hot iron and hot steam okay so um you've ironed it <laughs> so um yeah so there is <laughs> on wednesday there's me steaming my tassels okay <laughs> you know it has to happen it has to happen so then on thursday yes we are going to have three videos this week so on wednesday Thursday and Friday. So on Thursday, I am making a granny square. And I can hear you say, I can hear you say, I know how to make a granny square. Uh, why are you repeating basic stuff? It's necessary, okay? Uh, yes, there are granny square videos on the channel already but sometimes it's just good to redo things. And I was making a granny square for Friday's tutorial. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just make a video from start to finish five rounds of granny square? No, I'll see you at the end of the row. You know, you see me make every stitch and sometimes I think that's a good idea you can just sit watch it and see what I have to say about about it um see how you do things see how I do it and maybe just maybe you think it's easier than what you're doing or you think oh Anya why are you doing it so complicated okay so just as a informative um but also for those who needed, of course, a beginner crochet uh, video for how to make a um, granny square. And my take on it is that I do it in different colors. And that will help you, if you're new, that will help you to show you what's what in the granny square. Yes, uh, Bonnie, exactly. Um, Sometimes the algorithm is changed a little bit and then things are different. So there's nothing I can do about it. We will have a look at the settings um, and we will see what happens. So on Wednesday, we're making a granny square. 
Ah, Thursday, we're making a granny square. Of course, Raylene, of course, you can do whatever you want. You can hang down, you know, you can, feathers would be lovely. I just don't have any. That's it. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever you want, of course, or not put anything on and just have the mandala. It's fine. Or just do some beads or whatever, you know, obviously. Um, but so, yes, Wednesday we're steaming. Thursday we're making a granny square. And on Friday, we have a brand new design, brand new, I have never seen this before, for a tissue box cover. And again, you'll be thinking, oh, tissue box cover, everybody has a tissue box cover. And I don't know whether I like tissue well, actually, that's one of the things, one of my videos, one of my most watched videos is the tissue box cover. I wonder why, because yeah, it's nice to have, but it's not that easy. The start where you have to make the circle and then work out how many clusters, where to put the corners. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know, Kathy. Do you know what? <laughs> I know. I was only being very polite to Raylene because obviously I've never um, seen her name. I don't know how 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 she likes me. I don't know how, but how can you not like tassels, Raylene? <laughs> I told Rachel off for not liking tassels. Right, that's it, Raylene. I want you to. <laughs> I want you to make a tassel, okay? <laughs> joking, of course, joking. <laughs> but look at this. So here we have a tissue box. And as you can see, it's been covered in granny squares. But what have I done for the top of it? Oh, teddy bear, yeah, but I don't usually put tassels on blankets. I, I Oh, thank you, Raylene, thank you. Obviously, you know, you like what you like, you do what you do, I do me, you do you. Um, I do things on the channel that I like to do, um, and I might want to try, I, you know, I'm there to try and convince you. <laughs> I'm there to try and convince you to like them as well, but obviously, you know, and like you say, naughty corner, yeah. <laughs> no, let's not go to the naughty corner. It is a party. I need more drink. <laughs> this one is finished. <laughs> So, tissue box, okay. Um, I can see, yeah, my boxes are rectangular, Shara, exactly. That's why I've done this, okay. So I was lucky, my box was square, but there are rectangular boxes. So you can sort this out by putting a round of double crochets okay, or two rounds or three rounds, whatever you need, right? So the bottom is done specially, so your box stays in, look, it stays in your cover, okay, so it goes round the base, okay, then this is a square, and if you need to adjust that, you can by doing a round, sorry, a round of double crochets, but what I have taken away from this design is the fact that you have to make the opening in the top. Can you see how I've done this? So we are using granny squares on the top. And this is so much easier then doing the middle one and working out how many chains and all that. And you can do this, 
you can do this for um, for the flat boxes as well. I had that in my dream last night. Um, you can just do these and use them for the flat boxes. You know, make the, the, the shallower box. So I think you'll have to, um, you can work that out yourself, I'm sure. But look at that. So cute, so easy because of course you're just making granny squares. You're not doing the rounds, you're not counting, you're not trying to make the, the corners. Um, so Friday, darlings, on Friday. So if you want to get prepared for Friday, okay, this is actually, I'm not going to say it and I hope you can read it, but the brand is Who Gives a okay <laughs> i buy my toilet paper from them and i buy the tissue boxes and um that's the only paper thing we buy now um and yeah they're lovely boxes but i'm sorry this does not go in my interior so, and also they've got wilder ones out there as well. So, I really wanted it to have a nice, uh, oh, <coughs> and that was all, that almost landed in my tiramisu. I <laughs> hold it like this over here. <laughs> um, this is why he gives me plastic wear. <laughs> um, I wanted, you know, I, it was an eyesore. I wanted this in my bedroom because I've got a wall dark like this. I've got my uh, bed um, linen this color. And so I just wanted a nice box uh, next to my bed. And if you want to get ready for this for Friday, right, you make five, uh, five, you make four squares of one, two, three, four, five rounds. So four squares like this, and then four squares of two rounds. And then I will show you how to do all the rest. I will show you how to put them together, how to make this here, and how to do your top. And I mean, I don't know how I came up with this. I had a, a moment of inspiration. And yeah, I thought this was such, and also, if you haven't, you know, if you don't want the tissue to stick out, you just have this look and it's, you know, it's flat. You can't tell what it is almost. So what do you think? What do you think? Yes, a great Christmas present. Um, if you have made the, crisp, the, the tissue boxes before, this one is so much easier because you're, you're making squares. All you're doing is making squares. So I hope you will enjoy making that. Uh, and once you've done it once, you'll, you'll know what to do and you'll be off making more. And this one is so easy. And also you could already have, you could already have some squares ready that you can use to just put it together and, you know, and have it ready for on Friday. So if you're wanting to make this, get your tissue box out, measure it maybe, hope that it's square, or if you are buying them from somewhere else, or if you are looking for them, get some square ones and see uh, if you can make your uh, tissue box cover like this. But yes, thank you, Marion, thank you. It's Mary Beth, it's so simple. Karen, <laughs> yeah, but there we go. This one, very simple to make, nice to use and nice in your interior. So I hope you will like that. Let me put it there <laughs> so you can have it in your view. Yes, Laurie, the colours are there. This is the pack there. So they're all the bright colours from the Wendy, um, no, from the King Cole Cotton Soft. So do go to our, our website and have a look at the uh, at the pack. They're all in there. Hello there. It's the first time you participate. Could you tell me what your name is? Because I can't read the Arabic uh, signs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Tracy. 
Exactly, Raylene. Exactly. That's why um, it's five rounds for the um, for the big squares and two rounds for the top ones, for the ones on the top. Are the colors for the tissue box? <laughs> I will tell you that exact. Those exact colors are dusky, ecru, and fudge. Dusky, Ecru and Fudge in the Cotton Soft. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, when I, I need a Granny Square Cardi, you said. Have you listed the colours? That's why I said about the Granny Squares. Uh, that's why I talked about the, um, those, but you meant this, these colours for your, these colors for your cardigan would be nice. Exactly right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's... <laughs> so five rounds for the big granny squares, two rounds for the um, small granny squares. So be ready for Friday. Be ready for Friday. And you will be able to assemble it with me in the video because the assembly doesn't take long at all. Oh, hello, Kusei. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> no, of course you can't miss the celebration. Of course you've got to be here. We are going to give away a giveaway, a, a giveaway. <laughs> I'm going to announce a giveaway and also I'm going to give away two colors of the upcoming cal because as you know the cal the mystery cal that we are doing yes we know the theme yes we know it's a blanket but what we don't know is the colors so we have an exciting cal ahead of us which we have just launched we are starting in september on the 22nd of september we will be starting with the first week's Actually, it's the first chapter. Yeah, I'm calling it chapters because it's all inspired by Agatha Christie books. So we have the case of the mysteriously disappearing blanket at Greenway. <clears throat> at Greenway. And don't get me wrong, the colours are not green, okay? Greenway is the house that Agatha Christie lived in in, in Devon. And so that's why I'm using the name, of course. Oh, wow, Mary Beth, well done, well done. Thank you. Yes, Sandy, I noticed, I noticed. So to celebrate, our, um, yeah, so because you're all so lovely and we've had a great response to the mystery of our colors um you know you're all trusting me with um a yarn pack that you don't know the colors of and i'm going to be a real tease tonight and i'm going to show two colors i won't tell you the names because i don't want to for those who don't want to know i'm going to give you the opportunity to look away I don't want to spoil it for people who really, you know, don't want to uh, know. Um, but I do want to do that because you've all been wonderful. We've sold so many packs. Dirk has been so busy. It's been wonderful. Okay. So we are very, very happy uh, that you have, you know, trusted me in such a wonderful big way. So um, first of all, let's see about this giveaway okay so for our 150,000 subscriber party we are going to be giving away can you see this there Ta -da! I said to Derek it's fine to give away some yarn but it needs to be in something right so he found this so it's one of those um project bags that we sold we've got a few left i think um i love mine i really do so one of these project bags and of course it's filled with yarn now <sighs> yep 
Well, I told him to put some yarn in it, okay? And he did. So he got home from the storage and he said, look what I did. I had a brilliant idea. And I'm like, uh, yes, darling, what was that brilliant idea? Christmas colours. <laughs> He's filled the bag <laughs> with Christmas colours. So he said, yeah, Christmas is coming up if they want to make <laughs> Ten balls. <laughs> Ten balls of Christmas colours. There we go. So that's the prize. <laughs> that's the prize. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did have a wonderful uh, idea, Suzanne. I said, why not? Why not? Nice, fun, summery colours. Yeah, but Christmas is coming up. I said, it's August. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Mandy says, I have run out of those colours. Okay, I suppose it's, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. So there we go. We have a bag with Christmas colours, 10 balls. And what do you have to do for being in a, you know, for having a chance of winning this? So let me put this somewhere in view. Look at that. Oh no, let's put it here. Oh no, that's where I'm sitting. Okay, there we go. It's in the picture. It's in the picture. <laughs> um, exactly. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, it's good to be prepared. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you all go and join his his court. Fine. Fine. That naughty corner <laughs> is easily conjured. <laughs> oh. Right. I'm having tiramisu now. As you're all choosing his side. <laughs> mm. I know there's already Christmas stuff in the shops. Mm. Yes, Laurie, Christmas. Christmas tissue box cover. Yeah. Yeah, Debbie, you know, how quickly do they go to the other side? Unbelievable. Who's still with me here? <laughs> anyway, so to win or to be in with a chance for winning, um, you are going to have to Oh, hang on a minute. I can see now. It says it again. And insert it. It told me. Who's, who got an ad? That's new. I've never had that before. Yeah, I've never had that before. That little, it, there was a pop-up for me as well saying, ad inserted. Oh, well. Sometimes. Yeah, see? Very strange. Anyway, um, so, of course, um, we have also uh, written in the description box of this video below what you need to do for uh, being able to um, be in with a chance of winning the giveaway. And what I would like you to do is the following. Of course, like this video, be subscribed and it would be great if you could share not only maybe this video, but also some other videos of mine. And if you do, please try and put the hashtag Ophelia Talks Crochet with it. That way we can see that you've shared it. And if you share it on your own social media, in other groups, but of course not in Ophelia Talks because already we have all our shares in there. So we post things in there and people um, know what, uh, you know, 
they all watch anyway. So try and share it uh, with people who think, uh, who you think would be interested in watching it or who you would, you know, like to take part in the giveaway as well. So that's what you need to do. Plus, you need to come back to this video and leave us a comment. And there is a question that we would like you to um, answer in the comment in this video. Now, you will have two weeks to do this because we won't be doing a live next week because we're not here. OK, so you'll have two weeks. So during our party, the week after, we will be announcing the winner. And Derek also said, if there are enough comments, we might choose two winners. OK, so make sure you share this. Make sure you, uh, you know, get people and yourself as well uh, to comment on this video, because this is where we will come to the chat, to the comments, come back to the comments and... Um, Oh, he says three winners. Look at that. So come back to the comments of this video and leave us a comment down below. And the question you need to answer is the following. OK, are we all here? Are we listening? What would you like to see more of on the channel? So give it a few days, think about it. And what kind of videos would you like to see? What kind of projects would you like to see more of? What kind of something would you suggest I do? Um, just give me ideas of things that you would like to see, or that you would like to see more of, or that you would, you know? Yes, worldwide, Julie, worldwide, always worldwide. Sharon. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We never, I never mention it because we never limit it to UK only. Well, have I limited? Yes, of course, last week we had to limit it to UK only where we're going to drive to deliver. I can't drive to US to deliver. But no, we normally with these giveaways, it's worldwide. So Dilik will send them anywhere. Okay. Yeah, so after this live ends, come back, leave a comment in the comments, but also you have time. You have two weeks uh, to leave us a comment saying, uh, what would you love uh, to see more of? More wearables, more blankets, more items, more talking videos, more um, Anya eating videos. <laughs> <laughs> Anya doing whatever videos, okay? So I know a lot of people ask me for holiday items, but to be honest, I am so, I'm always so busy with um, designing things that all of a sudden Christmas is there and I haven't got anything so I do apologize for that um also what I want to say is yes um you know try you know whatever you want to see more of on this uh channel I will go through the comments and make a list but obviously I can't promise anything okay um <laughs> Yes, Tracy, that's a good one. And you're making Dirk run up and down hills. Yes. <laughs> um, but, you know, so, yes, so not in this chat, not in this chat, but come back after the live has finished, come back to the live and put it in the comments in the description box because we can't go back in the chat later on. That's closed. It stays there, but it's closed. So into the comments, we can go and put some sort of random thing on it. And then Derek picks out um, or he gets the random thing to pick out um, the winners. So make sure or actually I might choose some if I really like some ideas, you see. So this is a, a little bit of a, 
you know, and in between sometimes. Um, when I really like an idea, I might uh, get, you know, I might uh, designate that person as the winner. But yes, I am going to um, make a list and see what it is that I can then take that on and see if I can do that. If many, you know, if, if quite a few people are saying, oh, we would like, I don't know, um, in your videos or this or videos about this or this, then I might take that on board and, uh, you know, use those ideas. Um, so, yes, yeah, so like this video, share it, share another video, share an older video somewhere. That's great to do. Um, and then also uh, don't forget to mention the hashtag Ophelia Talks Crochet. Her ladyship has a right. Come on. Come. Yeah, I'll let go. I'm going to go back. Come. 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 Come on. Come. Yeah. Alleen want ze zijn aan het wachten. Kijk eens hier ze. Hier is ze. Hier is Leila. Oh, look at her. Yeah, Leila. <laughs> Leila is here. Look, look, look. Put your foot, put feet, pose there. Yeah. I'm trying to get her to look up. Leila, come. Oh. <laughs> Leila. Leila, come. Come. Let go. All right. Now, sit it on my chair in the bed. She's going for a drink. Right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ingrid. She says, I really have to have a think. Your projects, everything's already so well balanced. Yes. You know, I try to do things differently from other crochet channels with the live, with my type of projects, with my type of videos for it. Yes, everybody can can participate everyone we do this worldwide we send uh, parcels all over the world uh, when you buy from us um, so why not when you can win it you know we're not going to limit this one uh, obviously we only limited um, you know the delivery of the pack because that was not practical but yeah we can uh, send all over um, obviously some countries it might be a little bit more risky but we we work it out we'll see what happens we'll see uh laurie yes but the moderators don't live close either so karen lives quite close but all the other ones don't live that close so that's another problem um there we go yeah so please do um Please do let me know uh, in the comments, okay? So now, um, yeah, I'm going to show you two colors of the cow. So if you don't want to know, then look away now. <laughs> um, and I will... Um, you know, tell you when to look again. So keep your eyes closed if you're... Okay, here we go. There's two colours popping up right now. And they are still in the picture. So I think everybody can almost tell what they are. They're quite, you know, their colours that are, you know, used quite a lot. There we go, and they are gone. Okay, so if you have had your eyes closed, you can now open them. And I know maybe that was teasing a little bit too much. You know, these are colors that are used in many of my blankets, but obviously you know that, um, you know, I don't generally go really out there um i will and this was something that rachel said as well um i'm glad that 
what I'll tell you as well is uh, she said, I'm, I'm glad that there's no black in it. And that's one of the things that I do make sure of. I will never put black in a, in a, in a, in a cow and certainly not in a mystery cow because I know some people don't really like, you know, really don't like it. I did, however, put it in the Netflix blanket, but that was not a real cow. That was a do it yourself blanket. So that was your choice, whether you, you know, obviously we're going to do this or not. Uh, but that was part of the whole design. So I couldn't not use, um, you know, use black. Yes, 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 yes. Both packs are the same colours, Claudia, of course, yes. Um, so, um, yeah, so the colours are the same for the both packs, but um, there will be two colour lists, one for Wendy and one for Stylecraft. And depending on which one you have, make sure you are looking in the correct column. So I suggest you block one off or you, uh, you know, make sure that you don't see the other one because um, some of these colors do not have the same name. So there are discrepancies in colors between the brands and that makes it difficult and you might grab the wrong color so make sure if you are working for, for me personally still with Wendy I make sure that I, I have the correct color well I just made it in Wendy so it wasn't so much of a problem but I do you know I some colors I do think, oh, no, 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 that's not the one I have to get, the, you know, so they don't correspond with the colours um, that you think. So I used Wendy, Wendy, <laughs> Wendy Clark, I used Wendy uh, because that's what we started with, um, that's what we were going to do, and then uh, Derek suggested doing both of the uh, brands. So, um, Yes, Raylene, exactly. But also make it worth your while. We've had somebody else ordering from Australia and she got like three packs, um, you know, and then the cost, the, the postage wasn't too bad because she was able to buy so much for that postage. So make sure you make, uh, you know, proper use of the amount that you can buy for that amount of postage. OK, so do um, have a have a look at that. Yes, Irene, make sure you um, go back to the comments later on, okay, um, and, and put your comment in there because we are not choosing from this chat, okay? We are not choosing from the live chat. You have got to come back to the comments below the video after the live has finished, okay? Who's who's buying both packs and uh, uh, teddy bear? This one is Lizzie. This one is Starcraft. This one is the Jam Jar, and that one is Wendy. Obviously, they're they're a different color palette, but for me. I I can't tell the difference anymore. Um, I've got them in my. You know, you know, I've got my yarn in um, in Billy's. I sometimes the bands fall off and I just put them in there and I don't know which brand it is anymore. And obviously I just use them as they are. I can't tell which one is which. So, you know, they are similar um, quality, similar products. Sometimes the Wendy is a little bit thicker than the Starcraft but it just depends. Um, Wendy is cheaper than Starcraft, so that might be a deciding factor for you. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's it's the same. The colors are the same. The blankets will generally uh, look, um, look the same. Basically, they will look the same. So, yes, Julia Hickman, we will be making something with the new impressions yarn i've got it there things are happening so when we have a cow i generally also design 
a yes he knows what's been made being made or or been made actually it's ready um i generally also design a shawl to go with the blanket or, or with the theme of the blanket so can i give this away we are making a shawl that you can wear when you're reading hey it's a book theme. It's a book theme. So hang on, where is Abby? <laughs> so yeah, or when you're crocheting, exactly. So we've come um We've come to a decision uh, sort of when I was, you know, sort of trying to come up with an idea of uh, what kind of shawl can we do. Um, for a long time, I've been wanting this type of shawl because I'm always sort of, you know, cold here when I'm wearing a shawl and you're sitting there for a long time uh, reading or crocheting. And you think, why am I, you know? Um, so, yeah, this shawl is a completely different um shape and hopefully you will like it and yeah it will um it will be soon uh coming out alongside the cow okay so um there <laughs> will this be a series <laughs> susan reads yes yes <laughs> the series is starting on the 22nd of september well actually the lookbook for the cal will be out on the 20th of September. So you will have a look at what the blanket is like and what the colors are right there and then. So think about that. Um, I will warn you beforehand, okay? I will warn you beforehand so you know not or to watch. <laughs> to watch or not to watch. <laughs> um, so yes, there we go. Yes, so um, the moderators are working on the uh, the blanket already because, of course, they're testing it. And uh, Teresa is working on it. Uh, Chris is working on it. Angel is working on it. Julie, and do you know what? And Chris, yeah, Chris, did I mention everyone? I haven't, I didn't even say to them, you've got to get stuck. You know, I said to them, um, because we didn't do a, a testing round sort of in advance, um, I told them you can just, because we had to wait for the yarn to arrive, we didn't have anything to send them. Uh, we said, I said to them, look, you know, we've tested it in mini, in, in just anything that they had, just in, in one color. Um, and um, I said, look, you know, do what you want. You can either uh, do it along with the public, right, with everybody else, or just, you know, not do it either even you know I, I wanted to give them the opportunity and they've all started they've all started Teresa is already on week five I know Julie I know you're all so keen thank you for that thank you um and the um yeah before you started making it exactly because you made the little swatches to help me decide on the pattern on the stitches to see if it worked and you know it was just wonderful to see how all of you just ran with it angel is making four of them <laughs> i know i know she started two at the same time she's so productive it's unbelievable so she's making them for her nieces i believe uh so yeah four blankets uh obviously she is making one of them in the colors but then all the rest she's made you know decided on other colors because she let the girls um pick their own colors but isn't that amazing and she loved it she's loving it she is loving um well they're all loving it um so julie is on week two Teresa is on week five i think Um, Christine is, Chris is on the week, on week, is she on week two? The problem is putting it down. Yes, Teresa, yes. Uh, Corinne, five, five balls. <clears throat> 
week five nearly done. Well, what? Hang on a minute. That means you'll be starting the border, Teresa. The border. <gasps> exciting. Exciting. Oh, tiramisu time. Anyway. Mmm. Oh yes, of course it's bank holiday, so you can do some more crocheting. <laughs> you know, I know, Julie, I know, but you know, I didn't want to put pressure on you anyway. <laughs> Mm. Yes. So one last thing I want to say, the cow is again what I'm calling the Lizzie method. So this was the Lizzie blanket. I came up with a way of um, of repeating um, five different rows of stitches six times so for 30 rows each week and then the next week we get another five rows and the next week another and so on and this makes for a blanket oh here look it says hang on i was able to skip the ad <laughs> it came up saying ads but that didn't happen earlier strange anyway so the what i call the lazy method is the, the 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 repeating weekly um rows of stitches and that keeps the blanket interesting so you have different rows to do every week it makes the look of the blanket different from week to week but it's for you it's so nice to do because you're never doing the same well you are doing the same rows but never in the same kind of configuration and i think that helps yes of course molly the pattern is free with the mystery cow the pattern is always free with the cow the videos are free um the um there's a written pattern on the blog which is free um, so, I mean, to be honest, yes, you can do this cow completely free because you're watching it on YouTube, you're, you've you got your stash yarn, um, there is a written pattern on the blog, but, you know, from, of course, to show your appreciation or if you want to make it exactly the same, then it I greatly, greatly appreciate if you buy the pack from us and then we make a little bit of money from that. And that can keep me going. That can keep Derek going to design more projects and more cows. And that's why we are here to keep everything happening, to keep it going, because the more of you that will be buying packs or hooks or whatever yarn we have. Um, you know, the more we can do things like giveaways, the, the 10 pound vouchers for the reviews, more videos, a better camera, maybe a better um, microphone, things like that. So at the moment, we are always, you know, trying to do everything for the channel and reinvest anything that we uh, make from it. So um, I hope you have noticed that over the years things have gone, uh, gotten better quality and the videos are better, you know, better lights. Make sure that, you know, and that's, um, that's my incentive. You know, if you buy something from us, if you watch the videos, if I make a little bit of money from that, then that's my incentive to keep keep doing this and, um, you know, keep designing. I mean, nobody does things for free. At one point, there is, you know, there is a point where we do need to have something in return. But yes, everything is free. You can, do, you know, I'm not saying you can't do that, but, you know, it's greatly appreciated. So I hope you, uh, you know, understand. Uh, Francesca, you don't have to print it off. Um, what I do is I make um, I am not showing you the new one. I'm going to an old one. 
uh, star, uh, jewels of the Nile, right? So here I have the thing and I take, so go to the website, take a screenshot if you have a phone and then you can edit on the screenshot. So you can then do, uh, if it's a picture, then you can do edit and you can write on it um, with your finger to tick it off. So yeah, the PDF. Yeah. So if you have the PDF on your phone, then you can um, edit it, I think, um, with writing on it. And I think that, and I I don't uh, have a printer myself. Dirk has the printer. <laughs> and this is how I do it. Uh, because obviously, yeah, I can ask him to print it off, but I want to, you know, make sure, yeah, screenshot or whatever, yeah. Or just go to the website and write it down, copy it over. I think that's what Angel Angel makes, one of our moderators, she makes lists of the colours and then it ticks them off there. I know it takes a little while, but it's only 30 rows every week. So, you know, you can you can write that out. Um, and also don't hesitate to watch the video again and again if you need to. There is a written pattern. Read the written pattern along with the video. The video will give you tips and tricks and will explain what you are reading in the pattern. Okay, darlings, I've got to start going. I know this was a lovely party. I'm glad you got it for sure. Ooh. Talking with her mouth full. I'm glad you got it, um, Francesca. But there you go, you know, there's maybe we should have the uh, moderator when the when the cal starts, maybe we should have the moderators do a um post in the Facebook group asking how people are doing that because not everybody is happy would have a printer and I have to give you the list of colors in some way or form. So yes, screenshotting it or just copying it by hand is, you know, old fashioned way, but it still works. Right, everyone. So, oh, this is empty. <laughs> so there will be no live next week because Dirk and I are away. There will be the next live will be on the 10th of September and that will be our party for three years of the web shop. I will be telling you more about the history of Ophelia Talks and about doing the Cal and things like that. And Dirk will maybe be here and tell you a little bit about um, his uh, yarn uh, packing business. <laughs> yarn packing business. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, we'll have another party what shall we eat? <laughs> and um, yeah, I think that's it. Next week, three videos. I hope you will be ready for those. Four squares, five rounds, four squares, two rounds. Okay, for this one. Right, everyone. Thank you for being here. I have thoroughly enjoyed my evening and I hope you have to have a wonderful week for those in the UK who have a bank holiday tomorrow. Enjoy your day off. I'm going to yoga, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and I will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.